Good afternoon and welcome to Bunker Hill Community College here in Boston, Massachusetts. The site of today's NJCAA New England Region 21 regional semifinal matchup between the Northern Essex Knights and the Bristol Bayhawks. How you doing everybody? I'm David Cardoza. Alongside me is the phenomenal Portuguese Cowboy. We're broadcasting from the City of Champions here in Boston, Massachusetts at Bunker Hill Community College. We have a rematch here today, Craig. It's the Bristol Bayhawks against Northern Essex. You remember last week and the MCCAC uh, championship uh, round there in, um, in Springfield Technical Community College. Bristol uh, came out here and faced the same Northern Essex team and had a rough time at the early going, at the early going, but towards the end they really took control of the game and played Bayhawks basketball. That they did. This team has had great success over the course of the season against Northern Essex, looking to have a very, uh, very similar outcome today in the first round here. It's regionals. Dave, it is March. It's finally playoff basketball. This is what we've been waiting for the entire season. And again, this is a great Bristol Bayhawks team. They're playing Northern Essex, as we said. And again, yeah, they, the Bayhawks, they kind of start off with a slow start, and they didn't play one of their starters, Josh Wimbush. But you remember towards the second half, they really just went off in the second half. They were playing their game. Alex Holloway, along with Malik Hess, they were a stud in that game, both of them. And again, they've had great success against this Knights team. So looking to, can you, uh, looking to continue that and come here tomorrow again for the championship or regionals. And you mentioned Josh Wimbush not being there. Josh Wimbush didn't play more than half the game. So now you have Josh Wimbush on the court. How much of a difference more is that going to be against this Northern Essex team? We don't expect a letdown, do we? No, I don't think so, especially with the, the way that the whole team played last week. Again, just really having – great chemistry playing together as a team. Josh Wimbush, he's going to be there on defense. We saw in the Bunker Hill game, he had like three blocks in the first three minutes. It was something crazy when yeah, he, he was a beast. did start. <laughs> so I think he is going to come out a lot. I think he's going to come out huge on offense, and he's also going to give you that extra 20, 30 points, you know, 10, 15, 20 points a game that he always does along with the, you know, 10 rebounds he'll usually get. He's been a double-double machine this entire season, and I expect nothing less tonight. And the big story of that game in the first half the backcourt. How about the backcourt of the Knights? Um, Amir Elagos and Alexis Estrella. Those guys were lighting it up from the three from three point range. And um, Alexis Estrella, he's the uh, the leading scorer for these Knights. And he really didn't get it going last game. No, they didn't. They remember the Knights that kind of fell off towards the end. And really, that might be the story again tonight. If the Knights can't go the distance. This might be an easy Bayhawks win. Most definitely. Well, uh, the scarf game is on fleek. The Dream Team looking good, ready to go. And uh, we're stepping our game up. Let's see if the Bayhawks step their game up today. We're going to send it down to the, to the court for player introductions and the national anthem. Thank you. 
All right, I want to welcome everybody to Boston, Massachusetts. We're here at Bunker Hill Community College, the site of, the site of today's Region 21 semifinal matchup between the Northern Essex Knights and the Bristol Community College Bayhawks. How you doing? I'm David Cardoza. Alongside me is the phenomenal Portuguese cowboy, Craig Salvador. We're getting ready for a chip, and this is a rematch of the, uh, of the MCC AC semifinal from last week in Springfield, where Bristol Community College was the big winner not only were they the big winner in that game, Craig, they won the MCC AC championship, and they're looking for a regional championship here this weekend with a chance to advance to the Nationals. That they are. Remember, last year at BCC, they took an early exit here in the playoffs last year. A completely different team and looking for a completely different outcome. BCC looking to get off hot in the early going against this Knights team and looking to have, like you said, a regional championship. Most definitely, and the Bayhawks looking to get off to a, uh, to a better start than they have been in the past. Holloway for three off the rim. Rebounded by Northern Essex. Northern Essex in the royal blue. Bayhawks in the white with the green trimmings. Jump shot in the lane. It's good. That's number 12, Kyle Martin. Alexis Holloway establishing himself as the floor general for this Bayhawks team in the second half of the season. Trying to get it down to Winbush. Denied. Estrella with the basketball. Alexis Estrella, the leading scorer for this Knights team. Three-point shot, going to come off. Rebounded by Josh Winbush. Winbush, one of the leading rebounders in Region 21. Vega loves that reverse. Gets stuffed. Winbush in the lane. Finger roll. Gets his own rebound, puts it in. And as we said before, Craig, Josh Winbush didn't play only but sparing, sparing minutes in the last game. So we'll see if the uh, the Knights have a, an answer for Mr. Winbush. Yeah, we said last week, last week really yep. only, yeah, really only about five minutes into the game he played last week and this week, really, uh, you know, getting the start, really trying to get BCC off to a better start than they did last week. Vega loses the ball out of bounds there and exactly right. Bristol, sometimes they have a tough time coming out of the gate and this today, not only today, but this weekend, they gotta step, they gotta step their game up. You gotta get out to a fast start. Espinol fumbles with it. Holloway sets the play. Northern Essex in zone from the wing. Espinol can't get it to go. Tipped by Vega. Somehow Espinol comes away with it. Holloway to the rack. Can't get it to fall. Here's Amir Ella goes. Getting inside, loose ball, Holloway is going to come away with it. Northern Essex turns it over. Wimbush kicks it back out. Corey Green for three. Can't get it to fall. Rebounded by Ella Goes. I'm sorry, Greenhow. Looks like we get a foul away from the ball. They say the foul's on Corey Green. Yep. Foul's on Corey Green. Essex with the basketball. Bristol in zone. Bristol in a 2-3 zone. Playing a lot more of it this year. Nice bounce pass underneath. Nice reverse lay in there by Kyle Martin. That's a great move, getting the basketball to open space. He had two Bristol defenders on him. And Corey Green able, or trying to at least do a similar play. Couldn't get it to fall on the other end. Ella goes with the basketball. And he's going to get fouled on the drive. Second team foul for Bristol. A 
Again, BCC coming into this postseason as the number one team in Region 21. Now, Northern, now Quincy College, Quincy, Quincy College had the best record. That's a deep three by Estrella. No good, rebounded, yanked out of the air by Winbush. Northern Essex also in zone. Vega on the baseline. Corey Green. Shot clock winding down. Winbush from the elbow. Jumper. No good. Rebounded by Espinal. And he'll throw it out of bounds. BCC getting on the offensive boards, though. Yeah, they are. They're getting uh, on the offensive boards. Not having uh, the best time finishing early on, though. That's for sure, but you remember last week, Craig, Bristol, Bristol was getting lit up on the boards. They were allowing teams to get second and third and fourth chances, and they weren't doing a good job of creating their own second and third chances. That's true. I think that comes down to the presence of Josh Winbush, not only getting boards, but also just his presence, you know, able to box out opponents, letting his teammates get rebounds. He makes a big difference out there. Essex misses there. Holloway bringing the ball up, and he'll telegraph that one. He gets knocked out of bounds. It will stay Bristol basketball. Only 4-2 here in the early going. Nearly four minutes have passed. 16-18 left here on the clock. FR Media presents Bayhawks basketball. This NJCAA matchup. Semifinal matchup. Mitchell for three. Can't get it to go. BCC can't connect from the outside. Amir Elagos. Nice pass underneath. But getting... Good job by BCC there to get quick... Um, to get quick to the basketball there. And BCC with another quick foul. They've already got three. And yeah, well, Bristol, Bristol Community College will call a timeout here on the early going. Not too many points scored. The lid is on, is on, the, um, on the hoop for both teams. 16-0-3 left. And we were talking about it, Craig. You know, BCC is the number one team in Region 21. Kind of the default, though, because... Quincy, Quincy College has been the number one team all year long. They had the best record in Region 21, and I heard from a source, everybody in this tournament, they are happy not to see Qu Quincy College here today. Yeah, Quincy College was definitely going to be, definitely going to be the team to look out for if we saw them here today. They got some studs in that team. You're talking about two guys who lead not only Region 21, but lead the nation. Uh, Dee Palmer, 31.9 points a game. He's not in this tournament. Dunkley, 21.1 points per game. Those are two of the leading scorers in the country. You know, so you, you, know, you take that team out, you take players like that out, you know, it leaves, it, leaves it, it leaves the door open for Bristol to have their first, their first um, chance to go to the, uh, to the Nationals in New York. And we were expecting BCC to come into this game with a lot, of a lot of momentum after winning the state championship last week. Most definitely. And BCC gave Quincy runs for their money in both times they played them. It wasn't like they, wasn't like they didn't match up with them. DJ Greenhow, six foot five freshman from Drake at Massachusetts, missed the first free throw. Second free throw rattles home. 5-2, Northern Essex with an early lead. Mitchell, cross-court pass to Corey Green. Defense right there with him. Trees collapsing on Green. Mitchell running floater, no good. Right there to lay it in. Can't get it to go. Second chance, no good. Wimbush frustrated with himself, but he'll go to the line. Northern Essex playing very tight defense. They're doing a really good job collapsing on zone. You can see once like Corey Green or Marcus Mitchell got the ball, they just could not shoot it at all. Those are the two guys to look uh, to look for on the outside. And Northern Essex is making sure they can't shoot the basketball. And Wimbush has two Knights collapsed on him, but he puts it up and in. And I thought Wimbush on the previous play, Craig, I thought that he got fouled. Loose ball, coming away with his Vega. Corey Green going to the rack, lays it in. And BCC takes the lead, 6-5. Yeah, we saw last week it kind of got out to a slow start, and then BCC, once they started playing their game, there was just no stopping them. Yeah, we've seen BCC with this trap right here. 
trapping in the corner. Kyle Martin going to the hole. Can't get it to fall. Vega with the rebound. Holloway around the back. Flash and dash. Back out to MM3 for three. Up high. Rebounded. And they're going to say it's going Northern Essex way. And checking in the game for PCC is going to be Malik Muhammad Hester. He's been the guy we've been talking about a lot the last couple weeks. He's the muscle force that he's going to come in for Alex Holloway. Alex Holloway was one of the um, all-tournament team for last weekend's MCCAC tournament, him and Josh Winbush. And Alex Holloway, he was also the MVP of the tournament. Yes, he was. He was very superb. Alagos back up to Greenhow. Alagos kicks it back out for three. Rattles out. Rebounded by Winbush. Winbush is all over the boards today. I give him that. Vega on the wing. Takes it all the way to the paint. To the rack. No good. Alagos pushing it back the other way for the Knights. There's a three-point shot from the wing. Coming off. Rebounded by Vega. And what was Northern Essex's game last week, they have not been able to shoot from the outside today. Yeah, that was one of the big reasons why Northern Essex, why they stood in that game last week. Mitchell down, oh. Nice pass there by Wimbush, but Vega for three, gets it to go. Don't let him start shooting from the outside like that. And we've been talking about this Zachary Vega, the leading scorer for this BCC team, just such a complete player, because I told you, I talked to you about the first half of the season, we had not seen him shoot threes that much. Then the second half of the season, he adds that to his game and it just improves so much. Most definitely. Kyle Martin in the paint floats it in. 9-7. Zachary Vega has the perfect inside-outside game. Very complimentary. Northern Essex, 2-3 zone. Green out to Mitchell. Mitchell cross-court back to Vega. They'll dump it in. Wimbush getting collapsed on, muscles his way up and in. BCC with 11-7 lead. Ooh, almost a turnover there. Going to the hole is number 44. That's the G-Man. That's the guy we can't pronounce his name, right? That's Goonie. Yeah. The Goonie Man. <laughs> 11-9, tight contest, a lobbing into Winbush. Nice defense by Northern Essex, Estrella. Oh, look at, watch out for Vega, the trailer locks it out of bounds. Good job by Vega trailing the play, great hustle by him. Checking in the game is Robert Quinlan, number 22, and number 23, Tom Jacobs. Number 12, Cal Martin, will come out of the game. BCC with a very live zone right now. 13 on the shot clock, and that's what BCC, that's what BCC forces you to do. They force you to make your own mistakes. Again, 11-9, we're closing in on the halfway mark in this first half. Northern Essex also in zone. Corey Green gets it in the corner to Vega. And they're going to call a foul away from the ball. And it's going to be on number 22, Robert Quinlan. This Northern Essex team, they're going to be a team that's going to be dealt with next year, too. All freshmen. All freshmen, and they got a lot of height. That's always been what I always found interesting about community colleges being two year schools, building the chemistry. So you don't got you know you don't have four year starters here. You got guys who you got guys constantly coming in. As Ella as Ella goes goes the length of the court, gets some contact there. They won't call it, but he gets the lay in, ties the game at eleven. Regional semifinal, the winner of this game will play the winner of Bunker Hill. And who is the semifinalist? Massasoit. Could we have a rematch of, of last week's MCCAC championship game? I think that is the favorite of what people are expecting to be the outcome of this regionals is that it is going to be BCC against Bunker Hill again. That was the match we want, matchup we wanted to see last year. We might get it two weeks in a row this year. Yeah, more than what we could handle. 
and it would be a home game for Bunker Hill, so it'd be a lot different. Dump it into Hester. Kayla Provid in the game for BCC. Knocks it off the side of the backboard there. Ugly shot there. Now it goes back out to Estrella. Deep three coming off. Man, Northern Essex, can, they can't buy a bucket from the outside. Here's Mitchell. We'll see if he can get going for BCC. Hester flashing high. They get it down low to Wimbush. Back up to Mitchell. Mitchell from the free throw line. Rattles out. Both teams can't hit from the outside, that's for sure. Field goal percentage very low. Oh, Green going for the steal, and he'll foul the G-man. Aggressive play there by Corey Green, but he runs it to the G-man. And that's, I was going to say, that's his second personal foul. And Damian Martin will come in for Corey Green. And Northern Essex going to take a timeout here. Tied up 11-11 with just less than 11 to play in the first half. Yeah, exactly right. So we're broadcasting here again from Bunker Hill Community College. I'm David Cardozo. He is the phenomenal Portuguese cowboy. Boston, the city of champions, Greg. We're right here in the heart of it. Right here in the thick of it. Oh, oh. Lucy, Cabr Lucy Cabral wants her street cred. It's the C team here. It's Cardoza. The Portuguese Cowboy, Craig Salvador, and Lucy Cabral on the fancy camera work, doing a great job as always. A little bit of a shorter drive up here today, Craig. Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely like not having to go back out to Springfield again. <laughs> exactly right. That was a long ride to hell. It's a very long ride. Long ride to nowhere. We got the AD in attendance, Mr. Derek Viveros. The man, the myth, the legend. Yeah. They say he's a politician. Yeah, isn't he the mayor of Fall River? That's what they say. He's the mayor in our eyes. Hmm. That's all that counts. I'd vote for him. That's right. All right, so 11 11, 10, 50, 10 57 here to play in the first half. A lot of red in this building. We are the home of the Bunker Hill Community College Bulldogs. They'll, they'll play in the second part of this doubleheader in the other semifinal game. Ella goes. Ooh, that ball was almost stolen. Ella goes. Fades back. Jumper. No good. Another rebound by Winbush. Good to see BCC doing a lot better job on the boards, not giving up those second and third opportunities, something that killed them last week. And that zone, that zone gets a turnover. BCC having a tough time against the zone. And they're going to call a offensive, turnover there. Yeah, offensive foul. Ella goes. They call him with a push off. Be careful of those hands. Yeah, both teams at five fouls each, ten and a half minutes to go in the first half. Yeah, we could be, we could be shooting a lot of free throws here. Hester gets it down to the other big man, Winbush, and he's going to get fouled by Kyle Martin. Yeah, make it six fouls now for Northern Essex. So one more foul from the Knights. That'll put BCC in the bonus for the rest of the half. Yes, it's, yes sir. Next, next foul will put him in the one-on-one. -on -one, so. so really, as this game goes on, it could just come down to who can make their free throws. And BCC has struggled. If you remember last week, Craig, BCC down... I'm, BC, I'm sorry, BCC up 67 to 60 in the final, the final four minutes against against Bunker Hill. Did you realize that BCC did not score the rest of the half, the rest of the game, and they went to the free throw line, couldn't make their free throws down the stretch, and um, luckily for BCC, Bunker Hill was also that horrible, as um, they only scored six points the rest of the way to come to come up short by one point. Losing 67 to 66, BCC hung on for that victory. But BCC couldn't hit their free throws down the stretch, thus almost giving that game up. Winbush was hit the second free throw. How about that trap? Estrella tries to float it over the big boys. I think Winbush got a piece of it. Yeah, Hester tipped it away, but it got rebounded by one of the Knights players. Hester with the defensive play then. Leaning jumper, no good. Rebounded by the little man, Martin. Oh, he, he took a bump. 
He took a pump, yeah, he, yeah, he sure did. He appears to be okay, though. So, yes, in the second game, it will be the number three seed, Bunker Hill Community College, going against the number two seed, Massasoit Community College. And we were, I guess we were unaware. We thought that Bunker Hill was the number two seed, we assumed. We know what assume does. But Massasoit are actually the number two seed. They could potentially knock off Bunker Hill. Hmm. That's definitely interesting because Bunker Hill is seemingly still the favorite beside, uh, besides not being the number two seed. Missing there by Martin, but Wimbush got the rebound and, and puts it up for two. They can't keep Josh Wimbush off the boards. Yeah, Josh Wimbush already with eight rebounds in the game. Yeah, he's an animal. That's a deep three by Estrella, drains it oh, home. Drops the Curry bomb, very deep three. Curry bomb, kind of like that, like that bomb cyclone we had last night. I think Hester, like, Hester hurt himself. He tweaks something. And that's not a good sign. We know that he's been the hustle and the muscle for this team in the last few weeks. Almost been like their secret weapon. He's smiling now, though. I think he's able to walk it off. Yeah, sure. You got to shake, shake it off. Hester goes to the line for two. Hits the front of the rim, gets it to fall. And we get a tight one. This might, you never know, this might go the distance. You face a team twice, it's hard to beat a team twice. In, in the same week, bigger stakes. Well, remember Second. that last week, or last year, that was the problem with Mass Bay. Both of them came down pretty close towards the end. That's then for Mass sure. Bay was able to just come out away get multiple points towards the end. Going inside. Estrella breaks through the defense. Oh, Wimbush was there to alter the shot and ultimately get the block. Two on one. Mitchell, the floater. Wimbush! Oh. alley -oop. And that's what the crowd wanted to see. The alley, who's your daddy? Josh Wimbush going flying through the air and just putting down a massive jam through the hoop. Estrella for three, trying to calm this crowd down. And I think he might have got fouled. Did he get fouled in the three-pointer? Or is there a foul underneath the hoop? I think it's underneath the hoop. You can see uh, number 23 there. He's slow to get up. Yeah, foul's gonna be on foul's gonna be on Marcus Mitchell. And that's gonna be BCC's 16 foul. And after the foul, Mitchell's gonna go take a seat with Juan Espinal coming in for him. How it goes back out. BCC always looking to trap. Being very aggressive on defense. I like the way BCC's moving their feet, getting to the. Yeah, we always talked about how interesting it is BCC switching to zone pretty much midway through the season, but it's working. Oh, oh that would have been a nice pass there. It's been working out for them on these last uh, few times we've seen it. It really has. Their rotations look smooth, they're switching off well. They're double, they're double teaming, they're getting active, getting after it. 17 to 14, coming up on eight minutes to play in the first half. If you're just joining us, this is Bristol Community College Bayhawks basketball here on FR Media. Juan Espinal, nice fake, goes to baseline. He's going to get fouled. And BCC is in the bonus. That's a ninth team foul. I think we remember last week, I'm pretty sure last week, the first half was pretty foul heavy too. It was, and the second half it simmered down. Juan Espinal will step up to the line. The sensational sophomore, two years with this BCC team. Misses the front of the one on one, can't get it to go. Northern Essex with the basketball. Alexis Estrella is the um, lead scorer, but to me, Amir Ella goes. To me, he's like the heart and soul. There's a three there. That's going to be way off. Another rebound by Winbush. He continues to rack up the rebounds. Yep, up to number nine right now. Martin in the corner to Espinal. Only a 17 to 14 game. Vega cross court to Espinal. They're doing a good job of collapsing on Winbush. Espinal in the lane, can't get it to go. 
Vega on the drive, gets the contact. They won't call it, but he'll get it in. Zachary Vega. BCC extends their lead to five. Around the perimeter. Inside to the G-man. Loses it out of bounds, but they're gonna, but they're gonna say it touched the BCC player. I think it went off Josh Winbush. And here's our first article bond sighting. Artic That's Coban. Artic Coban and Corey Green will come in for uh, Malcolm Hester. Mel Malcolm Muhammad Hester. Ten on the shot clock. BCC forcing Northern Essex to go deep into that shot clock time and time again. Three point shot from the wing is no good. Getting the rebound of the Bayhawks. Coban loses it but it's going to go off Greenhow. Northern Essex is coached by Joe Tardiff, senior. Bristol Bayhawks coached by ninth year man, coach Rob Del Lou, winning his second MCCAC championship. Never been to the Nationals though, never won a regional championship in his time here. Winbush gets that ball picked off by Estrella. BCC playing very aggressive, trying to get that ball back. They know what's at stake here. Like you said, that momentum from last week can only build off it. There it is, how it goes, air ball. Way off the mark. And that basically sums up how the Knights have been shooting today. Yeah, hasn't been their best night. Corey Green thought about it. They're gonna go down to Winbush. This is where they collapse on him, they're doing a good job. Oh, Espinal gets that stuff, ooh, gets that stuff knocked out the box. Lordy, Lordy. What a block there by TJ Greenhow. Estrella for three, nails it. You take, enough, you take enough shots, one of them is bound to fall. And when you're a shooter like Estrella or a scorer like Estrella, he's gonna keep shooting. BCC loves that cross-court pass. They're doing a good job of keeping Winbush out the picture. Three-point shot by Espinal, it's good. When Espinal gets going, you know he can he can hit from out there. That's his that's his shot from that wing. Yeah, he likes the angled three he likes the angle to corner threes. And as you said, once he can get going, he can put up three, four, five a game. BCC up by five from the free throw line. Is the Goonie man. Another rebound by Wimbush. He's got double-figure rebounds already. That he does. He's already in the double-double picture. 11 points with 10 rebounds. Well, the next is coming out, playing that extended zone. Vega dumps it in. Wimbush being double-teamed, but taps it to Coban, going streaking to the lane. He gets fouled, and he'll go to the line for two. BCC going to be in the double bonus. That's a 10-team foul on Northern Essex. Full crowd, full attendance here. Article Bond. The Southpaw. Caleb Provitt. Caleb Provitt getting some run today. Yeah, did we see Caleb Provitt last week? Very, very minimal. We've seen him a lot during the season, especially the second part of the season when BCC lost a few guys for various reasons. Two free throws missed by Coban. BCC. Oh, Speak of Provit, almost gets to, almost got the steal off the inbound. Yeah, Caleb Provit put in some put in some key minutes there for BCC. Had some very good games and also was on it on sophomore night in the finale just a week ago, a couple weeks ago. Fifteen on the shot clock. Provit, Provit up on Estrella. Now Vegas switches to Estrella. Provit back on him. BCC in that zone, though. That's a deep three, and he gets it to go. Tom Jacobs, six foot three freshman from Tingsboro, going back the other way. Hester going strong to the hole, lays it in. Teams trade in baskets. BCC always good on the fast break. Haven't gotten too many fast break attempts, though, we've seen. That's their game when they're, when they're running and gunning. 
BCC with good pressure in the half court. Always hustling, just always ready to trap on Estrella defense. from no man's land can't get it to fall. Rebounded by Vega. Corey Green finds Vega in the corner. So get inside to Hester. Hester using that body. Nice strong move into the hole. Hester for the deuce. BCC extends that lead, 26-20. Three and a half minutes to play here in the first half. Regional semifinal from Bunker Hill. Going to the rack. Martin swooping to the hoop. Gets to two. Kudos to Northern Essence for staying in this thing. Yeah, only four-point game. Still three minutes left to play. In oh, the that half. was a nice pass by Provid inside to Coban. Can't get it to fall. Referee is going to call a jump. And it's going to be Northern Essex basketball. That was a nice pass there by Kayla Provitt. And Woodbush is going to come in for Caban. And we know, Craig, that BCC, Coach Rob Del Lue, does a great job mixing it up, showing different lineups, showing different looks. Yeah, and we've seen some, uh, we've seen co some combinations we didn't think we'd, be, uh, we'd see, and that actually turned out to be really good combinations. Remember last week, Malik Hester. Tom Jacobs for three. Wow. Bang. Nails it home. The Knights really starting to hit their uh, hit their three-point shots now. Yeah, Jacobs. That's his second three-pointer of this half. We got ourselves a game here. Wimbush going inside. Can't get it to fall. Northern Essex with a chance to take the lead here. They haven't had the lead since it was 6-5. Estrella for three. No good. Oh, nice. Tipped by the Goody man. Yeah, I was going to say, nice job by the G-man knowing he's not going to get to it, but tipping it to one of his teammates. Yeah, it was a good hustle play. Vega gets it up to Provit. Provit doesn't have the numbers, but he's coming to the rack, and he'll go to the line. Yeah, charging with a full head of steam. I think even in his mind, he knew he probably wasn't going to score in that play, but he does enough to get to the line. I think he knew that... Um, I think he knew the numbers game there, like, hey, I'm also, I'm also just taking it to the rack. I might get fouled and go to the line. You know, I still might, I might get fouled on the dribble. I'll still go to the line. Caleb Provitt steps to the line. And finally, we see a, um, a made free throw. Let's see if we could two, see uh, two in a row. Second free throw. It is good. Two free throws made by Kayla Provitt. BCC keeping guys in the backcourt. Ooh, going to the hole. Martin. That Ooh. almost went through the basket the <laughs> other way. That would have minus points, right? No, I don't know. Yeah, like the other way? Yeah. He lost control of the basketball there. Vega, speaking of lose control of the basketball, he lost it into Alexis Estrella's hands. And then Hester got caught reaching. It is time for our leaders, our leaders of the game, brought to you by Bristol Community College. This is uh, Bayhawks basketball. Who are our leaders of the game? Who's our leading scorer? Right now, leading BCC. scorer for BCC, it is Josh Wimbush with 11, who is also the leading rebounder with 10. Leading in assists is Zachary Vega with three. And also in blocks, it's two for tied. It's Josh Wimbush and Vega both have one. And those, ladies and gentlemen, are our leaders of the game. Josh Winbush has a double-double already in the first half. Let's see if we can get the uh, the triple-double. The elusive triple-double. The elusive triple-double, the elusive 40. I don't think he's going to get 40. Both free throws made there, 28-27. Corey Green, back out. Provitt, back to Green. Green finds Vega cross court. Vega's going to throw it up there, bangs it home. It's good. There you go, Zachary Vega, two for two from the outside. Vega. 31-27. Ooh, losing it off his foot is Martin. Corey Green finds Provitt in the open court, lays it in. Good job to regain himself in the basketball there and put it up and in. And yeah, Provitt really, it's a... Uh Really bookends for Provitt. He started that. He he put the fingers in. He put the hand in, make sure that the Knights player couldn't maintain possession of it and got picked up by Green. Kyle Martin. That was an air ball. Didn't even hit the net. Going back the other way, Vega. Vega. 
Twisting and turning, nice bounce pass. How did he find Hester? I don't know, but Hester puts it up and in. He'll go to the line, and BCC starting to separate themselves a little bit. Zachary Vega made that decision in midair, turned around, glanced over, and saw Hester. That is the quickest reaction time we might see in this game. <laughs> and Hester's like, look what I found, but what a hell of a pass there. And we were talking about Caleb Provick. He really is a scrappy player. What play did you compare him to? Uh, I see him kind of like the Marcus Smart of this team. He is. He, he kind of completes this team. I am a big Marcus Smart fan, and he is. He's very defensive. His defensive prowess is always out there. He's always looking for steals and rebounds. He's just a great defensive player. He does. He does get in the opposing team's jersey. He's all over you. Active hands get steals. And he's very, he's so fast. He's got fast hands and just quick all around. You saw, he, he picked the nice player's pocket. He wasn't expecting it. Uh, Prava just puts the hand in, gets it to knock it down. Jacobs has no problem throwing it up from up there. He gets another three. The Jake. And a slow start to begin this thing, but this game is really picking up now. I think he's earned the nickname the J. That's his third J from out there, 36-30. Shot clock is off. BCC going to hold for the final shot here of the first half. 36-30. Baker and Green playing pass. Five on the shot clock. Corey Green for three off the rim. Hester got to put, put it up. up. Jumper. Good! Got it. Muhammad. When you're, when you're hot, you're hot. <laughs> As well. <laughs> Who else but him? Who else but him? Malik Muhammad Hester at the buzzer ends the first half on a high note for BCC. A little bit of a struggle for both teams shooting from the outside, but now Tom Jacobs getting it going for Northern Essex on the outside, and uh, BCC playing great defense and uh, starting to shoot a little bit better themselves. So 38 to 30. Here at the end of the first half, you're watching Bayhawks basketball. Stay tuned for the second half of this regional semifinal matchup between the Bay, between the Bristol Community College Bayhawks and the Northern Essex Community College Knights. We'll be back, ladies and gentlemen. All right, everyone, welcome back here to Bunker Hill Community College here in Boston, Massachusetts, for this uh, regional semifinal matchup between the between the Northern Essex Community College Knights and the Bristol Community College Bayhawks. I'm David Cardoza. Alongside me is Craig Salvador for a little halftime report. And uh, BCC and Northern Essex um, pretty much struggling from the outside, struggling making shots. But the uh, the game kind of picked up towards the end of the first half. And now if you just give up, you know, some of our leaders here. Yeah, right now, as we said before, it's uh, it's Josh Wimbush really all the way again. Josh Wimbush with a double-double already. 11 points to match 11 rebounds. He's showing been all tenacity. over the place, showing tenacity. And really, he's made the big difference here now. He's been getting the rebounds we saw last week. BCC really struggled getting rebounds. And Josh Wimbush now obviously showing 11. That's, he really makes the big difference there. And then right now also appoints Malik Muhammad Hester with 10 points right now. He's gotten into uh, double figures pretty early on in this game. Remember, I've seen him throughout the season. He's been used very sparingly. He's getting a lot of key minutes now. And really, he's just been a big, important part of this team going forward. Getting it done in all kinds of ways and even hit the, um, the last second shot there at the end of the first half. Josh Winbush was a beast on the board. So we're getting ready here for a second half action of this regional semifinal matchup. All right, so BCC will inbound the basketball. Alex Holloway, the uh, MVP of the MCC AC tournament, the all tournament. Man, Holloway going up. Holloway quiet here today, Greg. Yeah, he's actually been sitting quite a bit in the first half. We didn't see him too much really in the second half of the first half. He was on the bench for the most part. Vega gets the basketball. Just underway here in the second half. Cross-court pass. Corey Green. Wimbush up top. Vega going baseline. And he got hacked. Yep. Yeah, that's only his first foul. Vega's going to go to the line. PA announcers chopping up uh, DJ Green. I think I'm saying it's Green How. How's it spelled? That G is silent. The uh, the PA announcer keeps putting that hard G in there. Vega makes both free throws. 40-30. BCC with a 10-point lead. 
Yeah, but you haven't been threatening to fight this PA announcer, so. <laughs> yeah, he's actually pretty good. Alexis, Alexis Estrella with the basketball. BCC with that zone. Nice find by Estrella. Very good find. Gets it underneath to Kyle Martin. Can't connect. Wimbush was draped all over him. Another rebound by him. Vega with the basketball. Back out to Holloway. Corey Green for three in the corner. Way off. Loose ball on the floor. Vega comes up with it. Looks like he lost control of it. Wimbush got hurt. It looked like he did the splits. Yeah, that's not good. Wimbush on the floor. Estrella misses another three. And Josh Wimbush, we've seen him do this before, and he so, is. He's clutching the left knee. It looked like he took a hard, uh, hard bounce off the hardwood. Well, let's hope and pray to God that that left knee is okay. And, and he can just shake it off here. Anytime you see anything with the knee, just a hush comes over the crowd. Hopefully he can. Play happens so quick. You want to see him get up and hopefully shake it off. Wimbush will. Lip off the court here. He can't put any um, can't put any pressure on. Not a good sign if you have to be helped off the court. Although we've seen this before. But hopefully he's okay. He'll get seen by the trainer over there. Josh Wimbush coming off the court. That's a shame to see because you have a whole half of basketball here, and Josh Wimbush has been an absolute beast on the boards, and he's been a focal point. Um, for Northern Essex, they've been really they've been really trying to put a couple couple guys on him, collapsing on him. They've been really he's been a focal point of their defense. Hester going to the lane, switches hands. That would have been a beautiful play if had it connected. Going to stay BCC basketball. So Winbush getting seen, and the one thing Craig that's encouraging for BCC is they've won without Josh Winbush before against Northern Essex. So, but she definitely need him tomorrow against Bunker Hill or Massasoya, Bunker Hill, who they struggled last week against on the boards. Holloway on the drive, back out, Espinal, that's his shot. Can't get it to go. Hester there for the rebound. And we have a foul here. Looks like it's going to be on Kyle Martin away from the ball. See if we get some clarification. It's on number 12. Yeah, I think it, yeah, it looked like um, Kyle, Kyle Martin there on the box out. Yeah, he was trying to box out Vega and I guess ran into him too much, I guess. That's what the ref's calling. Well, you, you can box out if you have position, but you can't be like throwing your butt into somebody. Vega, cross court pass. Espinal being grabbed by Martin. Ooh, that ball almost stolen, and it is stolen. Estrella coming away with it, loses it into the hands of Corey Green. Vega to the rack, can't get it to go. Hester puts it up and in, strong. Malik Muhammad Hester with two more. BCC pushes the lead out to 12. Nice pass there by Ella Goes, but DJ Greenhouse couldn't hold on to it. No, he threw it off Espinal, though, to make sure that the Knights maintain possession of it. Yeah, and that's a heads up play there. That's the play that you just get so mad if that happens to you on the other team. <laughs> yeah, you do. There's nothing Espinal could have done about that. No, it's definitely just like a uh moment. Ooh. Nice reaction by Vega there to knock it out of bounds. Yeah, Vega didn't get the uh didn't get the face full of basketball like Espinal got. Yeah. Vega more or less just kinda protecting himself. He was, he was protecting his nose. And there's gonna be a turnover there. Looks like we, that that foul that foul is going to be on DJ Greenhow. All right, broadcasting here from Bunker Hill in Boston, Bunker Hill Community College. That is home of the Bulldogs. The winner of this game. Green. Oh, saying he traveled, took too oh. many steps. Wow, they're gonna call a travel. I thought he got I thought he established contact there. Oh. 
Holloway following, following the ball here as one of the Nessex gets it over the timeline. Going baseline, the G-man to the hole, can't get it to go. Greenhall with a second chance opportunity, couldn't get it. Muhammad with the rebound. Holloway around the back. Oh, nice pass inside, Vega can't finish. And it's gonna be going back the other way. And they're gonna call a foul on BCC. And you can't afford to get him out of the ball game right now, especially with Winbush out. Yeah, Winbush has, he's got some ice on that left knee over on the bench. May or may not see him later on in this game. If you don't need him, probably not. Estella going up. Flicks it up there. Gets the contact. He'll go to the line for two. Nice shoes. The Lavender. Actually, I don't like the Lavender. You say this every game they play against him. <laughs> I don't like the Lavender. Estrella, first free throw, no good. Don't hate on the Lavender, dude. Don't hate on the Lavender. The Lavender's good for the bathroom. Second free throw. Man, Estrella cannot hit anything from the outside. Both free throws missed by Estrella. Corey Green, losing it between his legs, somehow finds Mitchell. Hester, working his way inside, he gets two more. Hester manufacturing points. How about that? And if he keeps this up and Wimbush doesn't come back in, I think you're looking at the Bayhawks player of the game. <laughs> Let's not get too ahead of ourselves, but for sure. 44 to 30, BCC with the lead. BCC starting to pull away. Ooh, spinning. Flips it up there. The G-man couldn't connect. Mitchell, Vega. I mean, Holloway streaking to the basket. Can't get it to fall. Northern Essex back with the basketball. Ella goes. That's Greenhow. Nice pass to Martin. Bayhawks are playing damn good defense right now. That was a good pass there. BCC doing a good job of collapsing on Martin. Well, we always talked about their man defense being so good because of how quick they are. Now that they're playing zone and really using their speed for it, it's just been nothing short of effective. Yeah, you're right. Their speed. Even when they're out of place, they get back in place real quick. And guys are just collapsing on whoever has the ball, especially in the interior. Kyle Martin, first free throw good, second free throw. Bounces out, rebound by Vega, up to Holloway. Holloway calling out the play. Alec goes out to cover Holloway. So getting inside. Now they're working the ball inside to Hester. Hester. And they're going to call a double dribble. Double dribble call. Tom Jacobs will come in for, he'll come in for Kyle Martin. You guys look like each other. I know I said this last week too. They got like three guys who look like each other. They're like the triplets. Tom Jacobs, number 23 in the ball game. He's their long range sniper. And they need some long-range sniping right now. Down 13. Oh, nice pass there by, by, by DJ Greenhall. Oh, coming back with it is the G-Man. Gets the steal, lays it in. Mitchell from the wing, the three-pointer, no good. Knocking it out of bounds, gonna be off Northern Essex. BCC, they have their shooter, they have their uh, shooting rotation out. You got Marcus Mitchell, Corey Green, Zachary Vega, and Alex Holloway. So really they've been uh, looking to shoot from the outside. And they need it. Corey Green can't get it to fall. Estrella with the basketball. BCC in 2-3 zone. Jacobs looking to take it to the rack. Nice, nice pass to a credit Greenhall. I think they're and calling they're gonna, offensive. Yeah, they'll call an offensive. And who picks it up? None other than number 21, Malik. <laughs> Ma 
Muhammad Hester getting it done on both ends. Way to take the charge. Hester setting the pick on the other end. Swinging it around, Mitchell. Vega steps back, three point shot, it's good! Vega! Zachary for three, 47 33. Inside, Greenhouse, so a cutting G man. Can't get it to go. Holloway spinning and winning. Vega, oh, fakes the three, goes to the rack, lays it in easily. Had to respect the three. Defender goes out to cover Vega, and he just blows by them there. We talked about Zachary Vega, probably the most complete scorer on this team. He's a complete man. Inside, outside, getting it done. BCC extending that lead. And this is what we thought it was going to be right now. Yes, yeah, it's, it's actually a very similar outcome to last week. We're talking about this, the slow start, and then BCC. Once BCC gets going, like I said, there's no stopping them. And that's, what, that's yeah, exactly what you're talking about. When they get up and down the court, when they're causing havoc on the defensive end, causing turnovers, and when they're able to um, play the game on their terms and play it fast, fast and loose and well, that's when BCC... That's when, they, that's when they start getting it done. And they're up 16 now, 13 minutes and 49 seconds away from a uh, regional final matchup against the winner against Massas of Massasoya and Bunker Hill Community College. So we could be here tomorrow. That championship game is at 2 p.m. And for all you fans out there watching on FR Media, you can catch all these uh, Bayhawks games. Where, Craig? You can catch them on youtube.com forward slash Bristol Community College. You can watch us cap capturing all the home games throughout the Bristol Community College Bayhawks men's season and women's. We got the women's game up there too. So you can check that out again. It's youtube.com forward slash Bristol Community College. Yep, and we're going to give a shout, shout out to the, uh, to the Bristol Community College uh, Bayhawks, Lady Bayhawks team. Kudos for a good season, competitive season. And kudos to our sophomores out there. Graduated from BCC this year who got honored last week, Megan Parrish and, and uh, Deborah Banks. I feel like I'm missing someone. Gooney, back out to Jacobs. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hester coming up with a tomahawk block. And this might be where things start to uh, unravel. Start to take a turn. That's going to be his fourth. And there's still a lot of basketball left. Yeah. Being a little bit overly aggressive, Juan Espinal is going to come in him for him. The ice is off Winbush's, uh, Winbush's knee. And he is putting on his, uh, he's putting on his left shoe back on. But still kind of doubting he's going to come back anytime soon. Well, we'll see how the game progresses, and we'll see. We'll see, like how the how the game, the uh, the lead, how the lead goes. If you continue with a double-figure lead deep into this game, you might want to save Josh Winbush for tomorrow for the championship. Oh, nice pass by Holloway. Nice look away. Oh, Espinal, not enough mustard on that one to get it home. Estrella, out to Alec goes from the wing, three-pointer coming off. Another missed three-pointer by Northern Essex. Holloway, nice no-look pass to Espinal, but he lost control of it. Man, that was a great pass. 13 minutes, 13-minute mark, 49 to 35. And Holloway really looking at his options. They can't hold on to his passes. Nice cross-court pass. Mitchell, the dish to Vega, can't get it to fall. Northern Essex desperately needs Estrella to get going. He can't get going. Gooney, back up to Jacobs. Yeah, Estrella, the leading scorer on this team, but he's been pretty quiet this game. He's been, I think he's been very quiet for two weeks. Holloway going back the other way. Puts on the second gear, lays it home. Off the glass and in with the kiss. 51-35. Both teams have four team fouls. Here's Estrella, way off the mark. 
Loose ball, and it's going to be a foul. Yep. I think it might be on Mitchell. I was going to say, it looked like it might be on Mitchell. Oh, it's on Espinal. Number one for number one. An AD a contractor when I was talking about the, uh, the Lady Bayhawks. Megan Parrish, Deborah Banks, an AD a contractor. Thank you for your service. Thank you for a couple of, couple of years. Good service. Good basketball. Good times. Robert Quinlan rattles both free throws home. And BCC has a 51 to 37 lead. Coming up on the halfway mark, approaching it here in the second half. Holloway barking out the play. BCC looking to beat, looking to beat Northern Essex for the second time in as many weeks. Right in the week. Northern Essex, good defense. Holloway taking it to the rack. And they're going to call a foul on Estrella, it looks like. And both teams racking up the uh, the fouls now, Craig. Both teams have five. Both teams have five team fouls. Holloway makes the first free throw. Second free throw is good. And BCC with a, com a pretty comfortable lead right now. You know, we always say no lead is safe, but if they can make their free throws, they can definitely come back in tomorrow. Most definitely. Baden back. Gooney can't get it to go. Rebounded by Vega. Holloway leading the charge around the back. Ooh, maintains his dribble. I don't know how he didn't lose that one. Vega, Baden can't get it to fall. Coban is there, gets the offensive rebound, and gets the two. Arda Coban, the freshman from Turkey. 55-35, coming up on 11 minutes to play. The BCC faithful getting into it. Ella goes for three. Another three missed. They can't buy a bucket from the outside. Vega in motion. Coban. Yeah, BCC starting to get a little bit antsy. Holloway deciding to take the time with it, really calm his teammates down. He does a good job of no one went to, oh, Corey Green for three. Short. I think the bottom line is right now, we're seeing BCC pull away. Estrella for three, way he, off. He's just getting desperate Yeah, now. he's just getting desperate. He's got nothing. He's got nothing right now. And we saw this last week. This is a, uh, we're getting to the point where I think that BCC is really just taking the Knights heart out of the game. Yeah. Going inside. Look, even right there, there's just like no effort on the play. Well, they were hanging in there for such a long time, and like you said, it came to a point last week where they ripped their hearts out. Mitchell going strong to the hole, banks it up the glass and home. And that's a 20-point lead, and I think that's a heartbreaker right there. You talked about it, Craig. BCC ripped their hearts out last week, and then you've seen Northern Essex just, for lack of a better term, just give up. Estrella. Spade him back off the side of the backboard, and I think off he's off the side. He's just, yeah, he's just done. Yeah, he's like, he's like, come in for me. Yeah, I got nothing. And we talk about Alexis Estrella. Here's the guy who's a leading scorer um, for Northern Essex, one of the leading scorers in Region 21, and he hasn't been able to hit anything from the outside, but he's not getting anything going to the inside either. He's not even looking to to drive. No, he's been kind of trying to take everything by himself, and it just hasn't been working for him. Again, this is the leading scorer on this team, but if you this was the first game you saw from the Knights, you would not be able to tell that because he has just not been able to really get things going. He's hit about one three in the game, <laughs> maybe two, but again, he just really can't get anything going, and BCC, they're just starting to walk all over them. Exactly. You wouldn't be able to tell if you came off the planet Mars, you didn't know anything about basketball, that he was like, a good scorer or a good outside shooter because he's just missing everything from out there and it's just getting worse and worse. He's playing hero basketball and for Northern Essex that isn't good, you know. So 57 to 37, BCC doing a great job on the defensive end and really starting to step up their game offensively now. 
only giving up seven, and as I said, defensively doing a great job, only giving up seven points so far in this uh, second half. And someone stepping up big for BCC is Zachary Vega, as we've said so many times, leading scorer right now with 15 points and nine rebounds. He's also perfect from beyond the arc. He's three for three in three-point attempts, and he's really been the only one able to hit from beyond the arc for BCC. All right. Yeah, Vega's got the all around He's the all-around machine. Kyle Martin catches at the elbow, gets it in the corner to Alagos for three. And maybe that's something that could pick up Alagos, and he was on the line. They're going to say he was on the line. Only a two. Nice pass there by Martin, though, to get it in the corner. Holloway dribbles and bibbles. Provit now with the basketball being covered by Alagos. Five on the shot clock. Northern Essex needs a stop here. Holloway with the jumper, and it's good. Heartbreaker. 59-39. Ella goes from the top, off the rim. Espinel with the rebound. Craig, BCC just has the horses. They have more horses than, um, than NECC. Yeah, exactly. BCC, again, they just, they just took the lead. Now they're just running with it and really slowing up their offense, really just eating time away on the clock. That's all they need to do. All they need to do right now. A comfortable lead. Your opponent's out of it. Their, their best player, who was their best player, is back in the game, but he was sitting for a bit. You know, they really just got to run out the time. They got about eight minutes left. And this is no different from... This is almost like the reverse of last week where you started off with Josh Winbush on the bench. This game, you're going to end with Josh Winbush on the, on the bench. Estrella misses his million three in a row. Yeah, it's just not a good day for him. Some days you have it, some, some days you don't. But with this being probably the most important of days, definitely not the day you don't want it. But we say, Craig, this is a team with all this is a team with all freshmen. I didn't realize Amir Alagos hails from Turkey. He hails from Istanbul, Turkey. Jacobs is short. They have a couple of guys from Istanbul. Yeah. And uh, funny enough, none of them, along with Hakan Koban, none of them went to the same high school. But I wonder if they I wonder if they know Arda. Do you um, think they know Arda? I, I think I've seen them talking a little bit after games, but I don't know, that just might be them talking. I don't know if they actually know each other, if they played basketball together could over, just be overseas. The, I don't know. Could just be the Turkey influence. Exactly. Could be the could common. Just be, you know, talking to each other. Yeah. Like, hey, you're from, oh, you're from Turkey? I'm from Turkey. Holloway going to the rack. I believe he picked up the foul. He's going to go to the charity stripe. And that's the seventh team foul on the Knights. Bayhawks with a great season. They finished first in Region 21. They're the number one ranked team in Region 21. They go into last weekend's tournament. They get over the hump. They win the championship in a close game last week against Bunker Hill. They beat, they beat these same Knights last week. They win the MCCAC tournament. And now they're here and they're nearly, they're about seven minutes away from being one game away from an appearance in the dance in New York. Corner shot, corner shot, Martin, no good. Gets his own rebound somehow. And they're gonna call a foul. And see who it's on. It might it's on Provit. Luckily for Hester, because he was in that mix too. Yeah, that's what I was thinking was if this was on Hester, Hester's gonna be done for the day. It's only on Caleb Prov, that's only his first. Off the inbound, and Estrella finally gets the bucket. Yeah, we, need to see, we need to see Estrella's field goal percentage by the end of this. It's definitely not high. <laughs> I'd be willing to say it's under, under 25%. Corey Green. Corey Green having a quiet night. 
Vega loses the basketball, diving on the floor. Martin comes away with it, Tala goes. Yeah, Corey Green right now, only two points on the night, but he does have four assists. Estrella, boy, did he need that. And BCC, got a lead by 16. We've seen this story before though, Craig. Yeah, if the Knights can just get their heads back into this game, we might see something. But BCC just gotta keep up playing their game. If the Knights can cut it to within 10, at least by three minutes, because we've seen BCC give up a lead last week under in under a minute. This game's far from over. That is both teams. BCC driving to the, the rack, muscling and hustling. Count it, boom. Do they count it? They might be calling offensive. I'm not sure. Definitely not an offensive. Nope. I don't know if they count. I don't think they counted it. I think they waved it off. Well, no, they do count it. Nope, they counted they it. They counted it. Okay. He put the hand down. He counted it. Nice, nice move there by Vega. How many he's he got now? Three-point play. Yeah, Vega's got 18 on the day. That could be the dagger. Yeah, he's been, he's definitely, like we've said, the been the most consistent player. I'm feeling Vega right now. Ella goes. Vega. Boy, hey, Vega's always hustling. Ella goes. Gets it to go. And the foul is on Hester, so he's going to be taking the exit. But I really feel like in the middle of this contest, right, like once he started getting established and started getting points down low and and started getting those hustle points and started getting those rebounds, I feel like this game took a turn. I think he was a big part of that. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, Hakan Koban coming in for Hester now. Three-point play by Alagos. So Northern Essex answers the bell with a three-point play of their own. Down 16. BCC in control of this thing, no doubt, but don't go away. Mitchell to Martin. Green spinning in the lane. Somehow gets to the hole, and he'll go to the line for two as he hits the floor. He's okay. Five and a half to play. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you like sports, you like Boston sports, you can listen to the Dirty Water Sports Hour with myself, Dave Cardoza, alongside me, the Portuguese Cowboy, Dirty Water Sports Hour podcast, highlighting all the best and the worst of Boston sports during the week. It's our weekly podcast, the Dirty Water Sports Hour. You can find it on SoundCloud. As part of BCC Radio. Both free throws made by Corey Green. 65-47. Spinning in the lane. Putting it up as a G-man, no good. Taking away is Coban. That ball right back by the Knights. Yeah, that ball's like a bar of soap right now. Estrella for three, he needs nope. that. Can't get it to fall. The Knights needed that. Time slipping away for the Knights. BCC, five minutes away from a championship berth. Losing it. Estrella going to the rack, he'll lose it. Got fouled, I think, by Mitchell this time. Alexis Estrella, step up to the line for two. And Mitchell has four fouls now. I think it's all a moot point. 65-47. 4.48 to play. Kind of interesting, though. We haven't really seen BCC players foul out too much throughout this season. No, they've been pretty disciplined. I we mean, saw at the beginning of the season, Zachary Vega found himself in foul trouble. He's since calmed down. It hasn't been really been found in foul trouble ever since then. And other than that, really, nobody's been fouled out. 
Well, they play such good defense, and they're you know they're very disciplined most most times in the defensive end. And it's crazy too, though, because they are they are they can be very aggressive too on the defensive end. Corey Green Corey, with the travel. Yeah, Corey Green with steps. Corey Green slipping and sliding. Three by Jacobs. Nails it. That's the guy that should be shooting right there. Why isn't he shooting more? He's been the guy. He's been hitting it all day. Yeah. Give it to If they wanted to stay in this game, they'd give that man the basketball. You're exactly right. Northern Essex desperately needs a stop. It's all about possessions. You're running out of them. And Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Vega works inside. Easy day. All day Vega. Vega with the 20-point day. Yeah, I'm feeling Vega right now. 67 to 51. Kudos to BCC for keeping this lead and keeping the pressure on Northern Essex. Northern Essex just doesn't have it from the outside. Northern Nexus looks tired, too. Yeah, they started to it's get back over. into this, but they're, they're basically done. Yeah, it's... it's they it's, had a, a brief second win, but that... Mitchell! No. The Knights had a brief second win, but it went away as soon as it came. Yeah, they hung in there for a while. I mean, my hat's off to them for hanging off, hanging on for as long as they did. Down 38-30 to 30 at the half. Nice pass there by Ella Goes. Going to the hole. Is the Goonie man 67 to 53? Yeah, just over three to play, 14 point game. Northern Essex needs a miracle. All right, so we'll take a break here in the action. Three minutes and four seconds left here to play. 67 to 53. Bayhawks have the lead. We'll be back. We're back, ladies and gentlemen, here at Bunker Hill Community College, home of the Bunker Hill Community College Bulldogs here in Boston, Massachusetts. Region 21, New England region semifinal. BCC has full control of this one with 2.56 left to play. A win here. They'll advance to tomorrow's regional championship game with the winner going to the national tournament in New York, something BCC has never done. Yep, the championship, the title we talked about has eluded Coach Rob Del Loon his nine years here at BCC, looking to capture it, uh, take today's win. If they can win today, of course, take the next step and try to capture it tomorrow and, as you said, go to New York for the championship there. Love to go to that. Money and rings, baby. Money Going to rings. the off the glass. Off the glass, hail the champions from Mass. And this man right here, the guy that has uh, got that killer name, Guni Kalika Groku. You tried. Kalitsio, never mind. He's G-Man for a reason. But he's a six foot three freshman, also from Istanbul, Turkey. I couldn't even tell what the PA announcer was saying. <laughs> hey, if I don't know, he don't know, okay? <laughs> Is that how it goes? <laughs> That's how it goes, yeah, exactly. I'm the king of pronunciation. Pronunciation? Spell and, and a spell and bee champion. King of pronunciation, not yeah. pronunciation. 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 Potato, potato. 
Tomato, Tomato. 69-54, two minutes and 30 seconds to play. Lucy Cabral doing a great job, as always, on the camera work, getting it done. And I think I misspoke in the last few weeks. Um, BCC, they have won an MCC AC championship before. It was in 2015. I did, I did, I thought it was uh, their first one last year. But beknownst to me, the BCC has two MCC AC championships. But they've never been to a regional. I mean, they've never won a regional championship. So. G-Man getting it done. Pronunciation. It's pronunciation. Pronunciation. I'll fight you on this. Okay. Oh, look at that. Leaving this guy that all is alone. the biggest lane you're going to find in this game. That just proves right there that Artico Bond cannot dunk. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call him out, won't you? <laughs> Jeez. I could beat Artico Bond one-on-one. -on -one. Anyways. Bold statement. <laughs> My bold statement of the game. Seventy-one to fifty-five. We're getting slap happy over here. A sixteen point lead here in the semifinal. The MCC AC champions, BCC having a great season. When we talk about this region. And we talk about the, the very good teams. BCC obviously has been up there all year. Quincy College, the number five team in the whole entire country. Um, couldn't make it to the postseason for disciplinary reasons um, on probation this year. But they had the top team in Region 21 this year. Record-wise, very talented team and a dangerous team. One of the top teams in the country this year. We're missing out on that. But don't want to take anything away from these uh, Bayhawks. Having a great season. Started off the year, Craig, 10. Won their first 10, 11 games. And really got it rolling from the beginning. We said this team is different. Yeah, from the first day we saw them, we knew this team was going to be something special, and they're looking to keep that going. Oh, what a dish. What a dish by Holloway. Coban proving he can't slam again. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> They're just calling him out at this point. They'll probably take you up on that one-on-one -on -one challenge. Yeah, probably will. Fade him back as Estrella rolls around the toilet bowl and gets it to go. Too bad the season going down the toilet bowl for, oh, going back the other way. Vega for two more. Season going down the toilet bowl. Estrella for three again. again going down the two. Minute left. BCC looking to play out the string here. Holloway, nice dish. Look at this, Coban. And behind the back from Vega. Coban with the open lane to the basket, lays it in, proving he can't slam again. Had to, I had to. 77 58 for three. It's good. The G Man, 77 to 61. Coban racking up some points here at the end. Yeah, he's, got si he's got like six points in like the span of less than a minute. Yeah. 77 to 61. About 11 seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. This is going to be the final yeah, possession. Well, Green going to the hole and gets his two. <laughs> We were talking about that Roxbury game that we were watching, the Roxbury versus Massasoit. That girl took a three-point a oh, three yeah. point attempt at the end of that game, up up 20. I mean, to be fair, in Corey Green's defense, the shot clock was going down. Yeah. Estrella gets it to go. A little bit too late. Time goes off the clock. BCC is going to advance to tomorrow's Regional 21 championship game. With their second win against Northern Essex in, in the same week, beating them in last week's MCC AC semifinal and beating them this week in the Region 21 semifinal. An opportunity tomorrow awaits, and we have a championship game. Awaits us tomorrow at 2 p.m. BCC will face the winner 
of Bunker Hill Community College, the host of this tournament, be Bunker Hill Community College to face Massasoya. So big win here for BCC today, Craig. And um, now we talk about the uh, BCC. What a what a season! And here we are, March Madness. This is when all the college programs, all the the whole college scene is heating up right now. And um, and this is what it's all about. That it is best time of the year. March basketball doesn't get any better than that. Playoffs. We're going to a regional championship tomorrow, and we got the going to see who it's going to be against. Like I want to go to New York. You want to go to New York. <laughs> I want to go to New York. But before that, we got the regional championship coming up tomorrow <laughs> night. It's going to be either Bunker Hill or Massasoit. Will we see the rematch from last week in the very close game that was BCC against Bunker Hill? Or will we see a newcomer coming in? Will we see BCC versus Massasoit? We'll have to see till tomorrow and after this game. Massasoit right here. So anyway, so the, um, the player of the game. I know Malik Muhammad, Malik Muhammad Hester owned, owned that game for a little bit. But Zachary Vega from it's beginning, Zachary from, yeah, Vega. Zachary Vega from start to finish, from pillar to post was um, was killing him. I told you I was stealing Zachary Vega, and I was saying it for a reason. So Zachary Vega is going to be our our Bayhawks player of the game. Yep, definitely well deserved. 22 points, 11 rebounds. He also was perfect from beyond the arc. Three for three for three point attempts. So again, just a very very great effort, very good job again by Zachary Vega. Again, the most consistent scorer on this BCC team. And also the story of the game, Craig, the big, the big whisper. And I'm looking at I'm looking out of the court right now, and I'm looking at Josh Winbush. He took a fall, was withering and um, was withering and rolling around on the court there in the um, in the second half. Had to be helped off the court. He looks to be in good spirits right now. Getting hugs from people. He's walking up the court. He's got a big smile on his face. He looks good. But that's the big story. If Josh Winbush will get the start tomorrow and be able to play because they're going to need him. He was a beast in that first half. Yep, definitely, and again, time will tell. We'll see tomorrow when we see who they face in the winner of this upcoming game. All right, so thank you for everybody for watching this on FR Media to be uploaded on YouTube. David Cardoso and Craig Salvador here on the call. Be looking for that championship game because BCC looking to be uh, champions of Region 21. Can they get it done? The saga continues for Cardoza and the Portuguese Cowboy, Craig Salvador, and Lucy Cabral doing a great job on the fancy camera walk. You've been watching Bayhawks basketball. Look out, the champions could be coming.